So everybody, welcome. What fun and exciting event happens the very next time that we are together? Your first exam. Tell me, does anybody know anything about it? No, nothing. Huh? Yeah, it's over everything we've covered so far. Two, three, I'm not sure how you count. count counting's hard, counting's hard. First two or three units, whatever it is that we've, we've covered so far, that's what, what the test is gonna be over. It is going to be 25 multiple choice questions. 25 multiple choice questions. Uh, accounting, you will come to find out, well actually you won't know this, because none of you are ever, you know, most of you are never gonna take another accounting class again. So let this be your introduction to the fact that accounting is the coolest department in the building because we give you Scantron. So I'll be bringing Scantrons for you to use for this exam. So, so that, that makes us, that should, that should, I mean, that should mean something to students, right? And so my interpretation of that on your behalf is that we, that makes us the coolest department in the building, because we give you Scantron. Doesn't that sound, I mean, why not? Why not, why not? Uh, what other question would you have for me about the exam? Questions for me, not for each other? I mean, is there some question I can help with? Are you sure? So who was happy, who was sad at this table? You were happy, were you happy or sad? Sad, how about you? Were you pretty sad? There were a lot. Why, why, why are you a 49ers fan from the middle of Kentucky? I'm sorry? You're from Kansas. Nobody likes Mahomes? Because he's good? They don't, like Mahomes. they don't like good football players? Oh. I know, three Pete next year. <laughs> Not that I really care. Not that I really care. I actually pay more attention to Arsenal football than I do to Kansas City football. Yes, they did. We have, uh, yes, Aston Villa or West Ham? West Ham. Yeah, it was 6 0 at the end. 3 0 at halftime, 6 0 at the end. Uh, so, very, very good game. And they've just beat Liverpool. So, they're just like whoosh, right there with it. So, that's been very fun to watch. So, any questions come? I mean, the world doesn't need to know about Dr. Fessler's sports. Uh, preferences, so I do pay more attention for what it's worth to uh, Premier League soccer than I do to American football, but hey, what do you want to know about the exam? I mean, I guess what's going to be on it. What's going to be on it? I mean, I wrote the book, so what's, what do you think is going to be on the test? Whatever's in the book, that's not a bad start. And what you know what else you could do? I know this is kind of a crazy concept, and I can't say that I've looked, but I would wager, I would bet at least $5 that all of you have not yet finished the homework. I'd bet at least $5. What, sir? Are you talking about all the homework that's due, like in May, it says? It says it's due in May, but some of them have to do with this stuff. No, you do the stuff that's due, the, the, the stuff for, that I've taught you. The first three. The first three, yeah. No, that's there so that way you have, all, you, have, you have all semester if you need it. And the final has some review stuff on it, so I want you to be able to re-study the stuff from now. And it's super awkward to, to kind of reopen it and stuff like that. Yeah, so, I ain't complaining, but you know. You understand, but... But I know this is a crazy, crazy concept, but it would be awesome of you to do the homework for this stuff, you know, like before the exam, not in April because that's when it's listed as being due on Blackboard. You with me? Feeling me? Kind of, kind of feeling this? Feeling this? You know, and so I'm not, I, w I won't make you raise your hands or anything, but I would say I'm probably in pretty safe company. You know, I'd probably be, I'd probably get my $5 back if I bet that everyone in the room has not finished their homework yet. Maybe one or two of you have, but everybody has not yet done it. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Are you talking about the first 
terms, statements, and accounting equation. Because we've learned all those topics, haven't we? If you look at your syllabus, we've learned all those topics, okay? And doing them all will help you on the test, okay? Great question, great question. Does that make sense, everybody? So thank you for asking that, because more than just you needed to hear that, okay? Does that seem like a lot of homework? Okay, well, that, at least that's good. What are you thinking, Sailor? I'm sorry. What are you thinking? I, what are you thinking? That's my question. <laughs> what are you thinking about here? We're looking oh, you're, looking at at you're looking at the practice exam. exam. I wasn't paying attention. We were answering number two. You're answering number two. You, yeah. you just, so when the professor talks, you don't pay attention? No, I, I was looking at this. I didn't know the question you asked me. <laughs> so, so my point stands. When the professor's talking, you, you don't pay attention? No, I <laughs> Anyways, please pay attention, okay? So we all, we all looking at this, feeling comfortable, cozy. Let's learn some stuff, shall we? Let's please learn some stuff. Um, so Sarai, how many questions on the, on the exam on Thursday? I said it, I think. How many was it, Sarai? Sailor, did you hear that? I think I what was it? 25. 25 questions. Okay. Each worth, I think, five points a piece get you to 125, which I think is what it's listed as, listed the point total listed on the syllabus. There'll be four tests. Uh, so four, including the final, and the final's worth a little more. Okay. Because it's longer. Okay. Any other questions? And what Scantron do you need to bring, Sarah? Sarai? Huh? You don't know. Don't you remember me telling you how cool the accounting department was? No? I did, though. Didn't I tell you all how cool the, didn't I tell you how cool the accounting department was? Why is the accounting department the coolest department in the building? Because we provide Scantrons. Yeah. So you don't have to bring one at all, Sarah. What is a Scantron? You don't even know what a Scantron, you should, you want a bubble sheet? Yeah. We mean what it's used for. That's how you, huh? That is how you're going to mark your exam scores. Like, fill in the box. Yeah, I know what that is. I just didn't know what it was. Yeah, fill in the box. Do so very carefully. Bring a pencil. So that means everybody needs to have pencil as writing utensil because you will need to fill out a scantron. I would suggest bringing a spare. Bring a calculator. You won't be able to use your phones as a calculator. And you won't be using your watches, right? Apple, or yeah, Apple watches are no-go because I know what they can do. You can receive text messages from friends. That'd be bad during a test, don't you think? Probably. Okay? Any other questions, comments, concerns, random thoughts? You can write on this test. I, you can also have some extra scratch paper out if you'd like, but I will certainly allow you to write on the test. Apparently that was a thing in high school where some, some you didn't write, get to write on all your tests, but you can write on mine. Okay? Anything else you want to know? You going to be ready, Grace? Yeah. Awesome. Question. What question do you have? Please, please. I sure did. Is that good or bad? Good. So at least the, the, the right answer is there somewhere. Exactly. You just got to figure out which one. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Are you familiar with that? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a monkey by its toe. If it hollers, make its pay. Fifty dollars every day. And I don't actually. Don't, where's it stop? My mother told me to pick this one. And then you just have you ever? Are you? Do you all know what I'm talking about? Yeah, but it was you know, Yeah, kind of something like that. How's it go? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by itself? I'd rather catch a monkey. Feels a little safer. So anyway, very good, Grace. Thank you. Connor, number one. Let's, go, let's just kind of go through. We're going to go through as many as we can get through, okay? Apple reports total assets of $3.7 billion and total stockholders' equity of $1.3 billion. What is the amount of total liabilities? 
Number one. Connor, just, just, I mean, just wow me, man. Number one. Are you not looking at the practice exam? Yeah, yeah, we're do it's exactly the, do I not talk loud enough? Yes, exactly. That's exactly what we're going to do. Do I not talk loud enough? Apparently not. Is that right? Oh, never mind. That was actually the first exam question. So, uh, <laughs> you're welcome. But thankfully, I know people aren't listening to me. So, uh, so we'll, <laughs> we'll do, whoopsie, whoopsie. Anyway, so thank you. Got that sorted out. Did you remember the numbers? <laughs> I bet we see something similar to that today. Resources or a company are referred to as what, Connor? Assets. Letter answer, D, as in dog. Ellen, Grayson, where's Ellen? Ellen, are you excited? Sales of a product or services are referred to as what? Um, Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by its toe, I told you you're supposed to say. Pardon? That is correct. That is correct. It's revenues. And, the, and just look back through your definitions. Watch the videos. Look back through your definitions. That's literally just the definition of revenue. Okay? And again, I, this will be the third time I've said it right, but just kind of advertising. I'm doing the work. There are YouTube videos, like for every class. Some of them weren't from class because we've, I've invested in quite a bit of technology since then, a $20 movie-making app and a microphone so that that way we can, I can kind of do this, but uh, now I think it's, it's starting to work good. Although, like I said, I think I'm gonna get, I've got a new, uh, my wife got me a new, or actually I guess I got me a new ca uh, camera holder, a phone holder that's got a tab at the top and I can put a light on there and have it shine. And I'm not sure if that would make a huge difference or not, but I've got it. Number three, Blake, where's Blake? Get excited, man. Why are your friends laughing at you? That's not very nice, man. Blake, number three, financial accounting and reporting standards in the United States are established primarily by who? Uh, FASD. Which is, stands for what? Financial accounting standards. Which is which letter answer? B. B, as in boy, that's number three. Way to go. Skyla. What, what, she's shaking her head at me. What do you mean, no, no, no? What is the, the in the language of accounting, the term, deb, term debit, I do believe I've told you this. Yeah. I did tell you this. In the language of accounting, the term debit always means? The left-hand side, letter answer C. And that's literally, I mean, debits and credits, like if you were an accounting major, you would debit and credit out your ears. I mean, we would, I mean, it is the language of how we talk about recording numbers but for you all that's really all I want you to know for the most part is debit and credit is debit just so you know it exists right it's kind of like getting on a ship and not knowing that we actually don't call the the ship sides left and right we call them port and starboard just it's just kind of a nice thing to know Gatlin are you excited you gonna you, you looking forward to uh, class on Thursday Awesome. Amounts owed by the company are referred to as what? Liabilities, Liabilities which is which letter answer? C. C. That's number five. Rolling right along. This isn't seeming too bad, is it? Is accounting scary? Shouldn't be scary. It's cool. You know why it's cool? Because we give you your scan drives. I mean, it's really cool. Jackson. Where? Talk to me, man. Uh, which financial statement conveys a company's ability to generate profits in the current period? Uh, the income statement, which is which one? A. What is the format of the income statement, Jackson? Uh, assets equals uh, none of the above. None of the above. No, not assets equals liabilities. Because the, the thing is, is you, you answered correctly. The financial statement, it, it conveys a company's ability to generate 
profits. And what, did you ever use that word in your formula? No. Correct, you did not. And so, so I'm helping you here. Revenue minus expenses equals, equals profit is a for format of the financial statement. Very good. You just, yeah. Now you know, you'll remember. You'll remember this time. Kenzie, number seven. Is that right? Okay. Which financial statement shows that a company's resources equal its claims to those resources? Uh, balance sheet. Balance sheet C. What formula? I mean, this sounds really kind of esoteric, right? Oh, the which financial statement shows that a company's resources equal the claims to those resources. I'm not entirely, do you even know what that means? A little bit. But what formula is it talking about? You can do this. You surely do. As soon as you hear it, you're going to go, I knew that. I promise. Is it the, the assets? That's, that's, that was a perfect start. And then it just kind of fizzled after there. Well, it just works with the rest of the formula. Assets. Do you want to? Do you want to help a friend? Uh, assets equals liabilities plus equity. Assets equals liabilities plus equity. So that is assets. So what financial statement shows that a company's resources, which is its assets, equals its claims to those resources? Who claims liabilities? Who claims liabilities? Um, Danny. This is what you get for uh, laughing at your friend. Who claims liabilities? Danny. Who? 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 Is that what? Is that what you answered the first time? Did you say creditors or owners the first time? I said creditors and owners. Which one's which? Oh, owners and Yeah, that's correct. And then this is. This is resources, okay? And so that, that's what that sentence is talking about. Which financial statement, and then this is which financial statement? This is the, the balance sheet, right? And which, res, which financial statement shows that a company's resources, i.e. its assets, equal claims to those resources, meaning the people who can lay claim to those resources are creditors and owners. Who gets first dibs? Corey. Where's Corey? Wait, who gets first dibs? I'm not sure I've answered this question. Yeah, I don't know. You don't know. Who, but, this is, but there is actually a clear legal priority. Who gets first dibs? If the company dies... The no, it's actually the bank. So the bank, I mean, if you want to think about it that way, the bank gets their money back first. And the owners just get what gets what's left over. Okay? So I'm not sure I've answered that question before, but there is a clear dibs. You know, if the company goes belly up, the creditors get their money first, and the owners get what's left over. Okay. Am I listening to me? Somebody watching a Dr. Fessler YouTube? No? I don't know what I'm hearing. You're looking guilty, though. Very good. Awesome. Lane, how are you feeling, man? I'm doing good. You awesome. Doing? Awesome. Number eight, company reports the following in its income statement. Total revenues of 500000 and total expenses of 300000 Which of the following is true? Um, Which formula do you want to use? Like, like, don't just try to answer the question. Right? This is math, real math. What formula are you going to use? Or is it assets equal 
do the, those numbers in number eight, is the, any of them labeled asset, liability, or equity? No. Is that a clue? No. Awesome. I think so, too. I mean, I think so, too. So what formula are you going to use? Revenue minus um? Um? No, um. <laughs> Revenue minus um equals what? Revenue minus um equals? No, not at all. Just the purpose of this is to learn. You won't get to have an open book on the test, though, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Shucks. Revenue but. Perfect. No, actually, happy to have you open your book because I think you're going to remember it now. Yeah. So can you tell me without looking? Revenue minus um, expenses equals profit. Equals net income or profit. Okay. So now we can do math. Lane, Lane did a lot of work, Hermes, so can you help him? Yeah, help him. Revenue I don't want the letter answer. I want numbers. Come on, you just, I mean, I mean, we can show everybody how to get there from here, right? Please. Yes, please. 500,000 revenue minus 100,000 expenses. And that is what? Letter answer? A. A. Net income equals $200,000. You got it? Look at that, right between the garbage cans. Which is probably why the last year I played basketball, my free throw percentage was uh, 25%. Yeah, not good at all. But, I, but I, you know, I got to start because I was the tallest guy on the team? I think I was the tallest guy on the team. So they needed somebody to stand in the middle of a zone defense with their hands in the air, and I was that guy. So, um, <clears throat> how are we feeling? Cam, how are we feeling? How are we feeling? N number nine? Huh? 50-50. Number nine. I've got to keep this blue one at least through the end of class because... It's the only blue one I got. Number nine, a company reports the following on its balance sheet. Assets equals 800,000, liability 700,000. Which of the following is true? <sighs> what formula do you think we're going to use, Cam? I'm sorry? But are we given, are we, basically it's one of the two that's on the board. Are we given one of, we are given one, are we, uh, it's one of those two that are on the board. Are we given revenues and expenses or asset liability and equity? Okay. Revenue minus. I mean, they're labeled there. Because we're given, we're given, just read the question there. Read the question. We're, which one are we doing? Number nine, right? Yeah, so company reports the following on the bill. Yes, that's exactly right. And what they're giving us are two of those numbers, right? They're giving us two of those numbers. So they are giving us... Total assets is 800000 And they're giving us... Liabilities is 700,000, and then we just get to solve for that. Can we do that? Cam, do you know how to do that? Subtract, basically, you subtract 700,000 from each side, right? Because algebraically, what you're doing, you're subtracting 700,000 from each side, and then equity equals. 
And then does it work? Does, if, you, if you put that into the formula, assets equals liabilities plus equity, does that work? $100,000 plus $700,000 does in fact equal $800,000. So don't be so scared. Isn't, that was pretty easy, don't you think? And what's the big clue? The labels are the big clue, right? We're given assets and liabilities. Which formula do you think we're going to use? The balance sheet formula. Oh, what is the name of the formula? Let me get this on the board, though. What is the name of this formula? Um, say, what's the name of that formula on the left, right here? You don't know. You can figure it out, though, I bet. You can look in your notes. You got this. The income statement it is. It is the income statement. That's the income statement. That's the balance sheet. Okay? Beautiful. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So there is, there are in effect two or th you know, three or four formulas that you're going to want to remember. And those are basically the format of the financial statements. Which of the following transactions causes an increase in total assets? Okay? Now, which formula are we using here again? Hayden. Hayden? You Hayden? You Hayden? Neither one of you is Hayden. You're Hayden. Was he helping you? Yeah, I was asking what For which one? Just the one you just did. The one I just did? Oh, you would have been welcome to ask me. It was... Uh, D, total stockholders' equity equals 100000 Sorry about that. That's a great question, because you're right. I don't think I did actually say it. So thank you for that, Hayden. So if we look at this next one, Hayden, I know you're kind of learning on the fly here, uh, but read number uh, 10. Which of the following transaction causes an increase in total assets? My question for you to begin with is, what formula do you think that we're using? The one on the left or the one on the right? Assets. Assets, that would be A plus B plus C, which is credit is your main deal. Yes, because A stands for what up here? It, it, this says resources, but the word is actually assets, okay? The word is actually assets. So the, if you were to write this out, pay, uh, Hayden, this would be assets equals liabilities plus equity, okay? And maybe, and you probably should in your notes. Assets equals liabilities plus equity. So again, I hope what you're seeing here is we're, going, we're using the same formula, same few formulas over and over and over and over again. Uh, Olivia, how are you? What, what do you think, what, what's going on here? Which of the following transactions causes an increase in total equity? Hmm. So what would be the, what would, what, if that is the letter answer. Are you looking, are the, you looking at the one with the answers, right? Mm -hmm. Is, I guess the version I gave you just has the answers. No? The second one does. Are you looking at the one with the, the answers? Yeah. Look at that. Can you read my handwriting? Um, or is that my handwriting or your handwriting? That's yours. That's mine. Yeah, look at that. I'm not sure whose handwriting that is. Could be my wife's. Yeah, and so, but tell me, why is letter answer C right? Show me what, because remember last class period, we talked about the transactions and what increased and decreased. So let's talk about that specific answer. You think that one's right. What, it, what gets increased and what gets, what, what, what happens here? I cannot hear you, I'm sorry? Yes, and what, what, it increases which of these? Remember we did two arrows every time. It is equity. And I think I did this last time, right? Uh, 
And so we're actually increasing revenue. Oh, that's a red. I didn't want to do red. I wanted to do green. We're increasing revenue, which increases equity. And we are increasing assets because on account means they owe us money. And so this is a transaction where equity gets increased and assets get increased. So letter answer C. Which one are we doing? We kind of skipped over the answer of 10 and then 11. We were on 10. We were on 10, yeah. What am I smoking? <laughs> I mean, it's really, really good stuff, apparently. It's really good stuff. What am I talking about? Yeah, we skipped 10. So I'm answering 11. Cool. So let's, let's, so let's talk about 11, and then we'll go back to 10. Olivia, did I just confuse you really bad? <laughs> so I, I was on the same wavelength with Olivia. But I messed the rest of you up. So let us, let's do 11 and then 10. So Sailor, talk to me about 11. Let's finish 11. Okay. Um, we, we were talking about it, and we want to agree that it was C. It is C. For this reason, because I actually gave you the answer. Yeah. What? Because you increase your assets, correct? Yes, and which is accounts receivable. And then you increase your, your equity. Yes. There we are. And the others, let me look at 11 first. We'll finish 11 since we're talking about it. Paying dividends to stockholders has no effect on, it, it actually decreases equity. Paying, obtaining cash from a bank, no effect on equity. Purchasing advertising on a local radio station, no effect on equity. Okay, so this, so this is the only one that has, a, has an effect on. <clears throat> and let me tell you that this is the stuff that the homework is going to help you with, right? There are extra opportunities for practice answering questions like this on the homework. So that's one of the reasons you're going to want to do it, okay? So now, uh, Stella, St Stella, let's do number 10. Let's do number 10 so we don't skip that one. Which of the following transaction causes an increase in total asset? Issue common stock for cash. Let's make sure we understand what that effect is going to have. What's going to increase and what's going to decrease then? Stella. Yes, assets increase because this is cash. And what else is going to increase? Does stock represent a liability? No, no, no. What does stock represent? Pardon? You don't know. Stock represents owners. Because we talked about how if I, I own a one share, actually I own two shares of Google stock. I, that means I am a part owner of Google because I own two shares of their stock. So stock is ownership, and ownership is liability or equity? Yes. Does that make sense? Yeah. And so then that means letter answer C. Which one of these will increase total assets? Letter answer C. And none of the others will. Like for example, D, purchase office equipment for cash. We're going to increase office equipment and decrease cash and they're both assets, so a net effect of zero, for example. Any other questions? So, sorry about that, I went through these in an odd order, questions about either 10 or 11. 
questions about either 10 or 11. You got them? Going to crush them on the test? Okay. Carson, what number are we on now? Let's do it. Which of the following causes the accounting equation not to balance? What's the accounting equation, Carson? Can you, can you use words instead of letters? Assets equals liabilities plus equity. So that is, that has two names, doesn't it then? Is that confusing? It is the accounting equation. And it is the format of the balance sheet. And this is, you know, you all are smarter than some of my accounting majors that I teach. They're like in their third, second, third accounting major class. And they're, they're they like, they don't actually, it hasn't clicked that the balance sheet and the accounting equation are basically the same thing, same format. Okay, so what's the answer then, sir? Huh? B. What's going to go down? B. Let her answer B. Which of the causes the accounting equation not to balance? So B. Decrease assets, increase expenses. So if we do this, decrease assets, and what is it for increase expenses? If we increase expenses, it's going to decrease assets or decrease equity, and it's going to have that effect. It is not B. And that is why, and actually this is why I want you to think about these as big words, not letters. Right? Not Because you can also do this. R minus E, right, equals NI. But then you got a problem, don't you? You got two E's. And you got to keep those straight in your head. And I'd rather, I'd rather you make this, this mistake now than on the exam. So good on you. Appreciate that. So, so, so hit me with the right answer then. Maybe C. You're, now you're asking. I appreciate, like last time you told me, that told me that the, the B is the right answer, then th now when you actually move on to the right answer, then you're asking me a question. Why is that? So hit me, hit me. Yeah, but we're not playing, we're not playing Jeopardy. Uh, it is C. What's, what, what would be going on there? Yeah, because when you're paying dividends, when you're paying dividends, what's that mean? It's like we're going to pay, like the company and everything, payment to another. Payment to owners. Am I not entertaining enough? I'm trying to be entertaining. You, so when, what happens when we pay dividends? Please do. Please do. Of course, I'm probably picking on the person who's like the, 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 the follower, like, like the person who threw the second punch, not the person who threw the first one. Is he distracting you? Well, you give it a shot then. Yes, save your friend. But what happens when you pay dividends? What's going down? What's going down? What, what is occurring? It's not a one-word answer. Are you paying the stockholders? Yes, you're paying stockholders. You're giving them some money back. So that means two things are happening, right? Stockholders are receiving money, and we are we're paying money. So assets are going down. Okay. So assets aren't going up; they're actually going down. Yes, sir. So would equity go up if we pay dividends? It would not actually. Because we're paying, oh, that's supposed to be an arrow, very, very ugly arrow. If we pay dividends, we're reducing cash, right? What has to be true now? 
something has to give. Is the accounting equation still in balance? The correct answer is no, it's not. So what's the effect on equity? It also must go down in order for this to balance. Okay? Because we have lower assets, we have lower equity. Does that make a little bit of sense? Light bulb coming on just dimly? Dimly. But, again, do you notice what the, the thought process I'm trying to lead you through? Right? The thought process is, what is happening? Don't just immediately jump to A, B, C, or D. Before you can answer A, B, C, or D, you've got to understand what just happened. Right? What just happened? We paid dividends. That's just money leaving the company and going to owners. That means the owner's equity in the company has gone down because we've just paid them some cash on behalf of their ownership. Okay. Questions, comments, concerns, random thoughts. So again, always be thinking about, and if you, I mean, if you found my explanation in class inadequate, Google a little bit of this stuff. What's this mean? What's, what's going down when this happens? But you need to understand that transaction before you can write the journal entry. Or understand the effect of, actually you don't have to write journal entries, but before you can understand the effect on the balance sheet, you've got to understand what's going on. Because for example, what is the effect of buying supplies with cash, what would that journal entry look like? Uh, Emma. Where is Emma? Emma might not be here. Is Emma here? Emma's not here. August. We buy supplies for cash. Yes. That's exactly right. Here's supplies. And here's the money. So what would be the net effect on the balance sheet? El Zippo, right? Nothing. So, but you have to understand what that means, right? You, you have to understand what's going down, and then you can better diagram what's going on here. Again, questions, comments, concerns, random thoughts. Piece of cake, walk in the park, easy is falling off a log. Beautiful. Uh, number 13, which of the following is, in, is, in, yeah, which of the following is, in, is an example of revenue? Jaren. 12 is, thank you for that, C. 12 is C, thank you. Jaren, where's Jaren? Talk to me, ma'am. Which of the following is, is an example of revenue? What is revenue? The definition is in what question? The definition of revenue. Two. Look back at question number two. Sales of products or services as refer are referred to as revenue. Yeah, sales of products or services are referred to as revenue. So now let's, which number are we uh, looking at now? Thirteen. Which of the following is an example of that? Sale, kind of a sale of products or services. Uh, cash receipts. That is exactly correct. Letter answer C. Okay? That is exactly correct. Letter answer C. Cash received from customers at the time services were provided. And did you see what I just did there? We used, you can use, you can sometimes, can one question inform another on a test? Sure can. Is that cheating? Not if I put it on the test. Right? Okay. <clears throat> good, good. Camera's still on. Veronica, number 14. Uh, Financial accounting standards are collectively known as GAP, Generally Accepted Accounting Principles. What does the acronym stand for? Letter answer A, Generally Accepted Accounting Principles. Piece of cake, walk in the park, easiest falling off the log. 
Okay, payment for utilities in the current month would be recorded as what? Uh, Maxton is not here. Joseph is. You excited to be here, Joseph? How's, it, how's your laptop treating you? And you got a mouse, man. I dig it. I can't use. Yeah, I mean, I've got one. I'm, and you don't need a, a mouse pad for it. Cool. What is the uh, answer to number, what number are we on? 15. What's it say? Your, your, his laptop's too small. What's it say? The payment of util for utilities of the current month would be recorded as. And I guess, like, when you're paying utilities, cash, what is a utility? When you're paying utilities, what are utilities? Is there an idea? What are utilities? No, 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 no. Just in general. What would be an example? What would be an example of utilities? Electricity. Electricity. Electricity, water, those are utilities, okay? So when you pay your utilities, what's going down? What's, what's, what effect is, hap is, is occurring with your amount of money? Up or down? Going down. Going down. So the right answer, so once you understand what's, go what's occurring here, right? We are paying our utilities. That means our money is going down. Regardless of how you record the other side of that transaction, we are spending money. So that means us spending money is part of the answer, right? And we, have we eliminated some of the possibilities now? Cash going down. Do all answers have cash going down? I wouldn't expect so. So now we've, now we've limited it a bit, okay? And then, and so now you gotta make a bit of a guess what the heck is utilities? Is it a revenue, expense, asset, liability, or equity? It is an expense. So which one's it going to be then? C. C. Increase utilities, expense, decrease cash. Okay. So it means we're going to pay this, increase that, which is going to have the net effect of that. Okay. Very good. Okay. But don't just, you know, again, you have to think through all these steps. You can't just immediately think you're going to know the right answer. You've got to think through it. Yes, sir? So when you're looking at a ticket, and uh, we're not saying it's, it's wrong, of course, but in our mindset, we thought that increasing utilities is we're decreasing, like, how much we pay on the utility. That is not, that is, in this case, no, that is not what that is. And that's, that's what... That's why you need to understand what does it mean to pay your utilities. Yeah, you're, yes. And so we're recording. So what we are recording, you get an electric bill. We're recording cash down our electric bill was. Yes, yes. Just what was this number? Like what it, we're recording, because how much do you have to pay? You have to pay the number that's on your electric bill. So that is what we're recording. And that's what this is recording. We're recording real numbers. What really happened, we, we, we spent $100 on electricity last month, so our cash is going down, and we are recording that we spent, uh, that we, we experienced $1,000 of electricity expense. And so that's what this is representing, okay? Uh, I mean, yeah, I can see that you, yeah, because your temptation is like, well, when we pay it, that means we don't have, we're done. We've kind of checked off a box. We've reduced, uh, we've reduced some sort of an obligation. But what we are recording is what occurred, okay? What we're, what we're recording in our accounting system is what occurred, and so we paid $100, and this is how much we paid, okay? And that's how we record checking off that box. Does that make sense? 
Number 16, for the account listed below, indicate whether it should be appear on the balance sheet, the income statement, or the statement of cash flows, or the statement of stockholders' equity. Ooh. This looks like a good one. Landon, talk to me, man. Is that not 16? Cash? Yeah, cash? Mm hmm. Is that a hard one? Kinda. Oh, I bet you got something. What is the format of the income statement, Landon? Uh, actually, we're going to have people help Landon. What is the form? Because we're talking about four financial statements, only two of which we've talked about so far today. Ryan, what's the format of the income statement? Revenue minus expenses. Revenue minus expenses. Blaine, what's the uh, re format of the balance sheet? Are you Blaine? No, you're not Blaine. Where's Blaine? He's not here. He's not here. Is he the one who usually sits beside you? Caden might not be here either. No. So Ian. Come on, man. What's the format of the balance sheet? Uh, assets, equals assets equals liabilities plus equity. Peyton, yeah. what's the format of the statement of cash flows? Cash flows? Look in your notes. You might have to look in your notes, and that's perfectly okay. Feeling it, man? I understand. Watch the videos in order. Huh? I don't know where I'm going to find this. I understand. Well, you've missed, like. I understand. I understand. And then I tried to put it on class 34, but the doctor said I was going to be too much. I'm sorry. It's money in versus money out, but I give you categories, I do believe, right? Yeah. Uh, all this stuff. So on page, he's got it on page 33. So we've got cash flows from operations plus cash flows from, uh, cash flows from operating activities plus cash flows from investing activities plus cash flows from financing activities equals change in cash. Okay? So that is the format of the statement of cash flows. And then Sarai, what's the uh, format for this? Statement of stockholders' equity. Do you have that in your notes? Oh, excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Pardon me. What is that? Format of the statement of stockholders' equity. Yeah, that would be it. It's, it is beginning stockholders' equity plus issuing stock plus net income. Minus dividends equals ending stockholders' equity. Okay? So those are four formulas that I've given you that you need to know. Which of those formulas does cash appear in? Statement of cash flows. Statement of cash flows is one of them. Does it appear anywhere else? Uh, income statement. No, not the income statement. The balance sheet, because cash is one of the assets. Gave me the hardest one on here. Is it? But now, but now you're learning something. I want you to learn something. I'm just kind of going through the cards. Yeah. But so the correct answer is which letter answer? Uh, D, I think, isn't it? There's more than one. Oh, is it E? E is more than one. It, e is more than one because the two are balance sheet and statement of cash flows. Okay? How do you feel about that? How are we doing for time? An hour flies when you're having fun, doesn't it? 15 minutes. Number 17. Uh, match the concept identified below with its corresponding definition. Net income. Grace. Mm -hmm. 
Because how do you calculate net income, Grace? Revenue minus expenses. And B is the difference between revenues and expenses. So B, I'm pretty, I think it is B. How about that? Isn't that awesome? This accounting stuff is really hard, isn't it? What do you think? Nate, is it really hard? Where's Nate? Is it really hard? No, yeah, it's not super hard. But there's, some, there's a lot of stuff to remember. There's a lot of stuff to remember. Okay, number tw uh, 18, Nick and Doug. That's me and my bro, my brother. Recently formed a company that manufactures and sells high-end, lightweight hiking gear. Anybody in here like hiking? Yeah, yeah. Lights, always better, right? Less weight you're carrying around on your back, usually the more fun you're having. The following, well, assuming you're safe. The following activity occurred during the year. Various materials used in the production of hiking gear were purchased for cash. Classify each of the business activities listed as either operating activity, inv an investing activity, or a financing activity. So which one of those activities was purchasing uh, materials to use to make hiking gear? Nate. It's an operating activity. It's a, one of their main things that they do for business. That is the definition of an operating activity, okay? Connor number 19, for the account listed below, indicate whether it would be classified in the balance sheet as an asset liability equity or in the income statement as a revenue or an expense. So accounts payable. It'd be a B liability, okay? So accounts payable is a liability, okay? <clears throat> Ellen, how are you? Awesome. Sirium XM satellite radio reports beginning retained earnings of $1.6 billion negative, net loss of $1 billion and $0 dividends. What amount would be the ending retained earnings? And who gave me this formula? Sarai gave it to me and she just left. What is the formula? Let's help out Sarai. Uh, help out uh, Ellen. Blake, what is the formula for statement of stockholders' equity? Or statement of, is it, did I give, do, have I called a statement of stockholders' equity or statement of retained earnings? Huh? Somebody talk to me. Statement of stockholders' equity. Okay, so beginning retained earnings was minus 1.6. Income was actually a loss of 1.0. These are negative signs. Dividends were zero. So what is ending? Minus 2.6, okay? And actually, let me fix this. This is retained earnings. And I do believe this is number for number straight out of a homework. So if you kind of go through your homework, you will see this again, okay? So, so again, another reason to do the homework, right? I'm willing to kind of almost pull potential test questions from, directly from homework questions. Ellen, how do you feel about that? Okay, feel a little better now? But that, and that's the formula that she gave us. Okay, questions, comments, concerns, random thoughts. Let's look at number 21. Amazon reports total assets of 4.7 billion and stockholders equity of 0.3 billion. What is the amount of total liabilities? Ooh, Blake. Which formula are we using? Beautiful. And so what are we gonna do with the balance sheet? How much is stockholder equity? 0.3. 0.3? 
And then we're just solving for that, aren't we? Which is how much? 4.4. Huh? And that's it. Very good. And so you just, so step one, what formula? Step two, put in the information you got. Step three, solve for what you don't know. Okay? Not rocket science. Number 22, Kraft Heinz reported cash flows of 3.6 billion, investing cash flows of 0 0.6, and financing cash flows of minus 4.2. What is the amount of change in cash? So the formula there, let me go to the left. We're going to go way over here to the left to do cash flows right here. Um, right, this is change in operating cash flows, change in investing cash flows, change in financing cash flows equals change in cash, okay? And then we just, we're just, saw, again, we, we're given the information. Hmm. Oh, we're given all the bits above. So we've got 3.6. We've got 0 0.6 minus 4.2. And that gives us a zero. Okay, we're just doing the math. So first things first, figure out the formula and then fill in the numbers and then do the math. Okay. Skyla number 23. Below are the external transactions for Trudy Corporate, Incorporated. Analyze the transactions identified below. Indicate whether the transaction increases, decreases, or has no effect on assets, liability, and stockholders' equity. So if we purchase a note by sign, uh, purchase equipment, excuse me, if we purchase equipment by signing a note payable. A note payable is what? Yes, and who, who, who's it to, or what is it? We kind of need to know that. It's actually not on account. This is money we owe a bank. Yeah, this is money that we are owing a bank. A note payable is, you sign a promissory note. It's kind of a fancy name for one of the ways you can get money from a bank. So you are borrowing money from a bank. So what effect? If we purchase equipment, what effect are we having on assets? It increases. What about a liability then? It increases because we owe the bank. What about uh, stockholders' equity? Nothing. And then, so, so you actually just thought it through. And then what letter answer did that it, is that? Yeah, it's actually letter, letter answer A. Okay, so you want to think your way through those, okay? You want to think your way through this. Questions, comments, concerns, random thoughts. Piece of cake, walk in the park, easy as falling off a log, isn't it? We're getting there. Oh, big yawns. We're only two more away from being done. <clears throat> Number 24, Gatlin. Where's Gatlin? Well, that's not really nice, right? Jackson. Number 24, for the account listed below, cash, would it be classified in the balance sheet as an asset liability or stockholders' equity or in the income statement as a revenue or expense? It would be an asset. It would be an asset, which is, a. which is A. What financial statement is that on? The balance sheet. The balance sheet. Also true. Okay. Kenzie, for the account listed below, equipment. Indicate whether it be on the balance sheet, the income statement, statement of cash flows, or statement of stockholders' equity. Balance sheet. Balance sheet. Hey. How you feel? I think you'll feel better if you do your homework. I think you will. Practice, 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 everybody. And we will see you on Thursday. And you don't need a Scantron, because we're cool like that in accounting.